there are few trends that make me more happy than that the horror genre is moving away from slasher and gore back to suspense and thrills. Hitchcock would be proud. Good to see another brother around here. Ah, yes, of course it is. <laughs> Something wrong? There you are. <laughs> Mm. Do something with this. Ah, yes, yes. Oh, hello. I'm Philomena, and uh, and you are Chris, Rose's boyfriend. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. That's nice. Get Out tells the story of a young black man in an interracial relationship who's worried that it's time to meet the parents. Well, little does he know how worried he needs to be. Uh, this is directed by Jordan Peele, who you may know more from Key and Peele, the famous comedy duo. Can he turn his directing chops in his first movie towards horror? Well, let's check it out. Five things you might want to know about Get Out. Wow, I honestly was not expecting to like this movie as much as I did. What a great job from Jordan Peele here. Let's start with the number one reason. These performances are amazing, right down the line. You've got Daniel K uh, Kaluuya, I think is his name. He stars in his incredible, you may remember him from an episode of Black Mirror, I think season one, uh, which is interesting considering this whole movie feels like an episode of Black Mirror in some ways. He's incredible in it. Uh, Allison Williams, who you may know from Girls, is amazing. Bradley Whitford, who you may know from a bunch of stuff, is incredible. Katherine Keener, I mean, right down the line, this cast is doing an amazing job at pulling you into this satirical world that feels somehow both real and elevated. Their performances are so genuine, even down to some of the secondary performances that you really are feeling what they're going through. And they're going through some very strange things. Don't want to give anything away. It is suffice to say these are phenomenal performances and they serve the movie very well. The other primary reason the movie succeeds is because Jordan Peele just gets out of direct suspense thrillers. Who'd have known? I mean, this is textbook draw the audience along. Build the mystery, give the clues, leave the breadcrumbs, some real, some leading down a false path, all in an attempt to make the audience want to know what's happening here, what's coming next, revealing the information the way you should. I love how this movie plays that suspense. I also love that it toys with your expectations, especially at the end, which I won't give away. There's something very bold and powerful I think it does at the end that I was not expecting and I really loved, but all throughout this movie understands how to keep you on the edge of your seat, living there, and enjoying the ride while you're there. What's interesting is I've slobbered all over this movie and I haven't even mentioned the main thing you'll probably be talking about which is the message, the meaning, the metaphor, some other M words. It is an incredible message going on here. I loved how this dealt with uh, racial identity, how it dealt with cultural appropriation. Uh, I mentioned it's metaphor. It's actually more satire. It's more biting than that. If it was metaphor, it would feel maybe a little on the nose and obvious. Because it's satire, it's created in a way to make you feel the impact of what's going on here. It's not subtly laying it between the lines. You're seeing it right on the screen, what this movie means. And I think it's valuable, especially considering the world we're living in, the division we're living amongst. It's important as much as we can to see the world through each other's eyes. And I think this movie does that in a very interesting way. So the movie isn't perfect as much as I've gushed about it. Uh, there is a negative here. I think it relies a little too much on plot convenience. Now, every movie has this a little bit where it needs to progress the story, so something happens in the story that doesn't completely make sense. But in a movie like this, I think it stands out more. It's a little more distracting. Now, this movie is constructed so well that I'm willing to forgive a lot of that because the other stuff is so good. But it's worth mentioning because it is there. And finally, the one thing I would finish on, uh, don't go expecting a comedy. I know it's Jordan Peele, Kean Peele. He's a funny dude. They do funny sketches. The purpose of this movie is not to make you laugh. That's not saying you won't laugh. There's some funny parts, but that's not the purpose of the film. This is 
a scary movie. This is a suspense thrill ride. This is a rated R horror film. So go knowing that was the intent, and I think you'll be fine. If you go expecting to laugh a lot, I think you may be a little disappointed. Overall, Get Out is a surprisingly good first performance, first directorial performance from Jordan Peele. I enjoyed so much about it that I'm willing to give it a solid B+. Almost squeaked into the A's there, but there's just enough of those little moments that uh, I think will land on a B+. Uh, thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend Review. Appreciate you being here. As always, uh, if you want to connect further, uh, I would love to do that. Let's connect on Twitter. Uh, go to Aaron Dicer, at Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E we can connect there. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff on YouTube. Having a good time doing that. And if you like podcasts, feel free to subscribe to Sift Pop. S-I-F-T-P-O-P -P is the name of the podcast. Uh, we do it every week, talk about whatever the major release is, uh, maybe TV shows. In fact, we talked about Legion this week, the TV show. Had a lot of fun doing that. Ranked our best ever comic book television shows. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you there. All right, speaking of best ever challenge, let's get onto that for this review. The best ever challenge is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. Uh, we're going to do best ever six letter movies, best ever six letter movies. There are plenty of them. Um, mine is the first movie ever to show a toilet flushing. That may be a little broad. Let's just say it's in the same general genre category as the movie I'm reviewing. Take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. Also leave your choice there as well. I'd love to see it. As always, here's five extra seconds to hit the subscribe logo. Just click it right down in this corner. Ow. Where my hand?